Perkinsville is a village of the town of Weathersfield. It's quiet, nice history. <laughs> My name is Glenn Bowman. I've been the owner of Vermont Soapstone Company for the last 25 years. The company's been here in Perkinsville since 1856. We're here because the stone was here. Soapstone is fairly unique in that it holds and radiates heat. And so inversely, if you get it cold, it stays cold. We got a phone call a few years back. Terraforma asked if we could make them some whiskey stones. I will have to admit that we kind of laughed at them a little bit. But we cut them up a few pieces. We shipped them down to them. And here we are three, four years later. And I think at this point, we've made them about three million pieces. It's a lot of pieces. It's a really lot of pieces. We produced them first with a sharp cut edge and the sharpness, it didn't look great. It didn't look like an ice cube. What we figured out finally was we rented a cement mixer, dumped a bucket of them in there and they tumble against each other and it gets a good finish on the edges. You know, there are ways to solve almost every problem. You know, the New England economy, which is our market in architectural stone, has certainly had its issues over the last five years or so. The Whiskey Stones has helped keep us afloat, quite honestly, yeah. I remember my grandfather, I remember he had that bottle that he kept up on the top shelf, and it always kind of broke his heart that he had to put an ice cube in there because it would always melt a little bit, and the stone, he would have loved that idea. I guess what attracted me to the business in the first place was its history. You know, we produce a product that I guarantee forever because I think it'll last forever. It's not going to be different in five years or 10 years or 20 years. It's still going to be the same product produced the same way, probably by the same people. <laughs> 